Hi, um, I'd like to introduce you to the artificial insemination kit for canaries and finch breeders. I have spent two years developing this kit so that people can begin and fully understand how to do artificial insemination on the small birds at, that they're breeding in their bird room, particularly canaries and finches. Um, I am a zoo professional. I've been working in zoos for uh, 33 years as a manager and I am specially trained on artificial insemination in birds. I've spent the last two years in my own bird room developing this kit for my fellow canary and finch breeders. I have over 170 birds and um, I've been practicing on them for two years to make sure that this is fully comprehensive for everybody else and other breeders can bring artificial insemination into their bird room to solve their infertility and clear egg problems. Now I'm going to introduce you a little bit to the kit. It comes with a full booklet with all the instructions and details that you need. Um, I've written everything in there. I've illustrated with pictures on how to take samples and how to inseminate the hen. I've also got some information if you wanted on how to use a microscope if you choose to get one as well. I'll introduce you to the different components of the kit. Um, first one is the semen extender. This is vitally important to be successful in artificial insemination in the very small birds. Their semen samples are tiny and dehydrate almost instantly as they come into the insemination pipette. Semen extender ensures that they stay live and healthy. They're not killed by fecal bacteria, which is why it contains an antibiotic, and it also protects the hen from infection when you're inseminating. The other component is uh, pipettes. These are for collecting the samples. There's a bulb that you put on the end. This is for squeezing to inseminate the hen. Or you can not use the bulb and simply blow very lightly into the end of this to inseminate the hen. This is not inserted into the male in any way. You simply get your sample on the tip of his cloaca and then you touch this to the sample and it will suck up the tube along with the semen extender that you've also put there as well. Uh, for hens, this is really, really important. Although it's a big pipette, make it easy for you to handle. The uh, insemination of the hen is less than, is five millimeters, is less than a quarter of an inch. So it only goes into the hen a tiny weeny little bit and then you squeeze the bulb or give a light blow on the end of the pipette. Uh, the other thing the kit contains is here is an empty bottle with a dropper on it. This is for, <clears throat> excuse me, the semen extender. You break open this glass ampule and pour it into the bottle, put the little top on, and you also have uh, a lid for it. So you keep it in the fridge after that. It's good for 100 inseminations. Here's one I broke open earlier. You just snap the lid off. Be careful not to cut yourself. Pour it into here, and this is how you're going to store it, and also how you're going to um, inseminate. You're going to uh, put a drop on the male's cloaca for sample collection. The other thing the kit contains is scissors. This is for trimming the vent of really uh, fluffy birds like the Norwich here so that you have a clear um, uh, clear working environment there and uh, you can get the samples and inseminate easily. Um, it contains a disinfectant. This is for disinfecting after you've cleaned out your insemination pipette. It's for disinfecting it and ensuring that all the sperm that is inside the pipette gets killed um, so that the next um, bird you inseminate you don't accidentally put your Norwich canary sperm inside your prized Parisian frill. Um, then it's also got some wipes here. This is for wiping away fecal matter when you're collecting samples or inseminating. Um, be sure if you, whatever you use for wiping away, that it's very soft. The cloaca areas of the birds are very fragile. So this is what's available. You can go to my website at kabibiscanaries.com or you can uh, email me at andy2010 at netzero.net and I'll put all that at the bottom of the screen on this video. And uh, this should help you solve your infertility problems and your clear eggs. I got 95% fertile eggs from all my Norwich this year and I did um, uh, mainly AI on them and it's fantastic. And I'm really excited to be able to share it with other breeders and show you how to do it.